It's just been reported that one of the car companies who has, well, at least had very little plan for the future, now has decided that they will invest $40 billion into electric cars. But will their plan actually work? Well, I'm going to tell you why I think it won't. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to have you here. Thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my son's BMX channel. My son's Cal and Jack, they have a little channel. They race their BMXs. I'll put a link in the description below to their channel. If you want to subscribe, that would be amazing. Thank you. And thank you for subscribing to this channel here and supporting the channel, Honda. I have previously made a video saying that there's a good chance Honda will go bankrupt by the end of the decade. Has that opinion changed? Well, a little bit. I mean, 40 billion isn't nothing. That's 40 billion US dollars, by the way. But yeah, they still don't plan on going all EV until 2050. And they also think that they're going to rely on hybrids for the next 28 years. Is that realistic? Are their plans to use solid state batteries realistic? No, absolutely not. In fact, they're absolutely ridiculous and their CEO should be fired immediately and replaced with someone who actually has a real vision for keeping this company in business. I cannot be any more serious. I'm not clickbaiting you. I'm not telling you an exaggeratory story here. This, in my view, is the reality for a car company. You can't sell old Nokia analog phones when there's new digital smartphones out costing less money. It doesn't work. That's what Honda are planning on doing for the next 28 years. Even if they plan on investing $40 billion, I don't know where this money's going exactly, considering General Motors are going to build their EVs for them in North America and GAC builds the EVs for them in China. Maybe, uh, maybe going to make EVs for Japanese consumers. Who knows? Yes, will they be able to sell cars in Japan? Absolutely. The Japanese love their own car brands. They love Nissan. They love Honda. They love Toyota. They love Lexus. They love their own brands. That's patriotism for you. So yeah, we mock Americans for patriotism. But why should we? The Japanese are just as patriotic. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, they may be more patriotic. But will they sell them outside of Japan? And will they be able to compete with the Chinese EV manufacturers that are going to take the market by storm? I don't think they will. I think what's likely going to happen is that Honda, Toyota, Toyota are already doing it, Honda are already doing it, getting Chinese companies to build their EVs for them. I think that's just going to continue to happen in the future. And what will essentially lead to will be that the Chinese EV companies will have all the power and ability to make these cars, whereas legacy auto companies will not. Is $40 billion enough? Absolutely not. For example, Volkswagen is planning on spending $200 billion. But let's have a look at what they're actually doing and what they're saying. Now, Honda CEO Toshihiro Meeb has begun to wake up, and the electric says he's truly begun to smell the EV coffee lately, making several big announcements in 2022 that pertain to expanded electrification. In his latest news, Honda plans to invest about $40 billion over the next decade to deliver 30 electric vehicles around the globe. However, the electric says, despite this effort and additional funds allocated towards solid state battery development, Honda is still very much in love with hybrid vehicles and plans to continue to promote them. Well, I'm going to tell you at the end of this video why this plan is just like, it's a plan made up by people sitting in an office that don't understand the market, don't understand the trends of the market, probably haven't bought a car for 20 years, probably just been driving cars being given to them by the company they work at, don't sit around and do research. They just sort of sit in their own ivory tower, which is, they're just not in touch with reality. You know, Honda needs every single cent they can get. They're gonna to have to write off billions of dollars of losses over the next decade, thanks to the fact that pretty much all their current car production uses internal combustion engine facilities, internal combustion engine factories, internal combustion engine, production lines. All of that will be obsolete and useless. I mean, for those of you who claim that's incorrect, maybe you should give Nokia a call and ask them what they do now with all the production lines where they used to make their old mobile phones that weren't smartphones. Yeah, you see my point. Now, Honda Motor Company is a legacy automaker that has joined its competitors in sharing goals to expand electrification, striving toward a 100% electric sales by well, the electric says 2040, but what I'm hearing is 2050. With companies like Honda, it's important to note the semantics used in this industry as there's a big difference between electrified and pure electric. A huge chunk of Honda's electrification strategy still includes, incredibly, uh, this shocks me, 
hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and hybrids. Sure, okay, maybe hybrids. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, I mean, where are people powering these things? It's just, it's mind-bogglingly stupid that anyone would think that that's part of a future strategy. In my view, Honda is less publicly committed than much of the industry, except for maybe Toyota. And only a few months ago, Honda was non-committal about expanding EV offerings to the US beyond hybrids due to lack of customer uptake. That's what they said. Lack of customer uptake. Incredible. You can't make this stuff up. Now, despite this previous skepticism in future sales or the belief of EVs, Honda now plans to deliver its first volume electric vehicle, the Prologue, based on GM's Ultium electric platform, as well as an Acura SUV to the US in 2024. Now, I should mention the fact that Acura, uh, well, they just went extinct in China. Yeah, that's true. Instead of declaring bankruptcy, they just said, um, we just ceasing operations for the moment, for the time being. Isn't that an interesting way of kind of renaming what's going on, right? Anyway, Honda will commit to an annual capacity of 70,000 EVs for these two EVs combined in 2024. So in two years, they're going to make 70,000 combined in 2024. Does that sound like a real commitment to you? Hmm. Speaking of GM, says the electric, Honda has gotten even cozier with the American automaker by recently announcing additional plans to co-develop a series of affordable EVs by 2027. So what else has happened? Well, recently these expanded relationships with General Motors, GAC in China, new partnerships with companies like Sony, for instance, are part of a larger electrification strategy from Honda, which is opening up its wallet to ensure it can meet its 2030 and 2040 benchmarks. Now, the Honda E is one of the coolest, funkiest looking little electric cars that I've ever seen. And I've heard that comment from, I mean, hundreds, if not thousands of people on forums. They had a winner. If they had have just gotten a Chinese car manufacturer that they already partner with, right, where they get 50% of the profit, that company gets 50% of the profit, gotten them to manufacture these with lithium iron phosphate batteries, they could have sold these cars in every country on the planet. They could have been selling them in the millions already. They didn't. Why? They wanted to sit on the fence. They were scared of going all in. What happens when you do that? So how many EVs to Honda plan on manufacturing per year? Well, they've now changed their tune within the last 48 hours. They're investing 39.9 billion US dollars to support their previously outlined electrification strategy, which now includes 30 EVs and an expanded production capacity to 2 million EVs per year by 2030. Now, this is interesting to hear from the company. Although they currently sell 4.5 million vehicles globally per year, they've only sold 32,650 electric vehicles ever, period. <laughs> they sell 4.5 million vehicles a year. Only 32,650 were actually electric of the, say, 20 million cars they've sold in the last six years. That is piss poor. That is not even remotely any kind of serious commitment to EVs. That is too late. What should Honda be doing? Should they be doing what they're currently doing, focusing on these pie in the sky dreams of having hydrogen powered fuel cell cars or using solid state batteries? Absolutely not. If Honda, on the other hand, was saying, you know what, we're gonna use LFP batteries in our cars, that's gonna bring the cost down so they can be competitive, by the way, the Honda E is insanely expensive. If you want to get one here in Australia, you've got to pay 80000 to get it imported. And they're really expensive in other countries as well. They don't compete on price in any country in the world. Because, well, Honda, it, they, it's, more of a, it's more of a fun kind of car for them. It wasn't, it wasn't a real thing. It was just a car they made for, as a compliance car for Europe. I mean, realistically, if they were coming out now and saying, you know what? We're not, going to, we're not going to mess around anymore. We're going to take this seriously. Lithium iron phosphate batteries are the only choice in terms of making these cars affordable, in terms of making them competitive. We are now partnering with CATL. We are now going to plan on having 2 million cars. These are, these are the battery types they'll use. This is the battery chemistry they'll use. These are the production numbers we'll have. These are the factories. These are where the factories are going to be. These are the factories we're going to build. They're not. It's just fantastical numbers. It's like, Here's a fantastical idea, market. Please buy our shares. Make our share price go up. That's what I see here from Honda. I don't see any real data. I don't see any real numbers. I don't see any real plans. And without plans, well, what happens to dreams? They fade away.
Thanks for watching.